Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I do not know where my camera turned off. I am so sorry. So this is part two. I am just coming to the planning portion of applying all that information that I shared before about vegetarian to vegan and are going vegetarian to vegan. And now I'm actually um, putting it in my planner. And this is my um, Illustrated Faith planner that I've taken out the months that I missed. And I'm just converting it into this, and I was explaining that I eat breakfast snack, lunch snack, dinner snack. Seems like a lot, but we are plant-based. So um, you get hungry. I mean, I'm not going to lie. And so I was, I was talking about how I, I start my day. So one of my favorite things to do, especially on Mondays, because I go to Bible studies. Um, I've been going to Bible study on Mondays, but I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about switching to a different Bible study just because it ended up before it was a different Bible study from my night Bible study, but now we're on the exact same page. Hold on, I'm going to get a sip. Mm. So you set that there. That's my green iced tea, no sugar. So um, anyways, and so long story short, um, I love my Bible study, but I recognize that, yes, it's great to have it like taught to me again. Who doesn't need it taught again? But um, I find that I just wasn't ex as excited to go. And I know that sounds terrible. I love our teacher. I love, love, love her. And now they're putting things online that we're able to utilize, and that's just fantastic. So, because they're videoing and taking pictures and, you know, audio recordings and, and so... Um, she had to go through some special training with um, precepts and so anyway so she's just a fantastic teacher so um, I need things that are quick and easy on Monday morning or the morning that I would go to Bible study because there is nothing close by I have to drive a minimum of 30 minutes wherever I go so um, I love the idea of overcut overnight steel cut oats I cook them in a small crock pot I have two small I have a bazillion crock pots in all different sizes all different setups but I love my overnight steel cut oats. I literally pour them in. I put one cup of steel cut oats to an, an organic Bob the Red Mill, all that stuff, um, steel cut oats. I put two cups of either um, coconut milk, but I really like soy milk because um, soy gives me a little bit more protein. And um, I just, I love it. Now, I love the coconut flavor. I'm not going to lie. That's fantastic. But anyway, so, and then I add... Mexican vanilla, and it's because we live in Texas, and we are totally addicted to Mex Mexican vanilla down here. Once you've had Mexican vanilla, there is not a vanilla that tastes the same. I'm, I'm so, I've tried them all. I have really tried them all. And, um, and then the other, Mexican vanilla just has a really, it's very pungent. You don't need as much, but we are the family that could just like pour it in. It's just so good. And then I also add maple, grade B maple syrup. And that is my only sweetener. Sometimes I'll use like an agave, but that's it. My husband will add um, honey to the top of his. I don't like honey in this. I think it's too strong, and I really love the flavor of maple syrup. So, and then sometimes I'll sprinkle in um, cinnamon, and then sometimes I'll take like bananas that are starting to go bad, and I'll mush them up, and I'll put them in and let them cook all night. And it is like you're having a... Um, just a, a banana pudding, uh, you know, banana bread pudding is almost like what you're having for breakfast. Um, with the banana, sometimes I'll add frozen blueberries to the top, hemp seeds for protein. Um, I've added walnuts. I've added, um, pepitas. I've added cran raisins. Um, and there's some, some, uh, combinations that I like better than others like I love oats um, frozen blueberries and walnuts I love that for breakfast that's one of my all-time favorites and then I also love the banana like bread is what I call it banana bread oats with um, I love topped with some kind of a nut or a seed on top in the morning and um yeah i mean these are just really easy peasy and i have the kind where you can pull the little crock pot out if they don't finish it we can stick it back in the fridge and pop it back on i will say they're never as good second day but um you know it's also good for snack too so you know that snack if you're if you're a pudding person 
um, you can go in there and eat it like overnight oats that it would be cold. Now I have a trick. I was trying to explain this when the camera went out. So when my husband gets up sometimes because I see a plate, he'll say, oh, they're not cooked. I'm not eating those because I always lay his bowl out and his toppings and you know, everything because um, he gets up sometimes and I don't get up with them. Um, but what I tell him is take the rolled oats, put in like maybe half a cup, throw it in, stir it in really, really good, put the lid on, go get your shower, come back, and they're ready to go. So those rolled oats add a different texture to it. It's really good and it absorbs all that liquid and it's fast. So I don't do quick oats, I do rolled oats only. So there's that thought. Okay, so for snack, I would probably have, um, lately I've been really hooked on fruit salad and I love that. Now, I will tell you for breakfast and I'm not gonna list my drinks here, but I do, I will put this here and I also have some sticky notes, it's what I add. So my drink are, um, offerings are, I do decaf, and it's a water processed coffee with um, dark chocolate. Um, either the almond milk you buy dark chocolate has sugar in it. I try not to do that. Sometimes I do. Um, dark chocolate with soy. And um, then I add uh, dark chocolate stevia. And that's my sweetener. And if you don't know, stevia is like taking a vitamin. It is not just a sweetener, it is good for you. So there are really good properties in stevia. So the other options are I've got a detox tea for day, and so that's AM, and then I have a PM detox tea, and then I have pink plexus. I'm kind of making a mess here, plexus. And um, I'm going to put the pink here because there's other plexus drinks. Um, and of course, water, 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 and then water with fruit and veggies. So I love water with cucumber. I love water with wa watermelon and mint and lime. That is a great combination. Um, I love, um, you can even do that with watermelon juice that you juice. I also do fresh juice that we juice. And, I mean, we do a lot of greens in our juices, so, but I don't give up my fruits either. I know a lot of people won't do fruit because it's just a carb and sugar, but I, I don't mean to be rude. You know, when you get to this kind of diet, you just need greens, you need all the, I mean, greens are, you know, your dark greens are such great, great for detoxing and antioxidants and your berries, and I mean, there's so many good things in there that you don't want to give up. So, okay, so for lunch... Um, let's see, I would do, um, maybe a stir fry or actually I, I like the Thai tofu that I have a recipe for and I eat it over coleslaw or, um, you know, and just plain coleslaw, nothing on it. And, or, um, I love, love, love cabbage. I love to just take it, cut a wedge and just gnaw on it. It's sweet. It's crunchy. It's all those things. I never believed years ago that I would ever do that. And I saw somebody else on YouTube do it, and I was like, huh. And so the next time I was cutting it up, I was like, this is good like this. So I love that. And I top this with seeds, like sesame seeds, hemp, uh, hemp seeds, nuts. And then I also have a Thai chili sauce I love to use. And I know some of you, oh, it's 1L, sorry guys. Um, I know some of you, I need to this back because it's kind of hard to write on it. I know some of you would never do that. Oh, look at blurred. Wow, that really stunk. That's okay. We're going to put a sticker on here. I'll cover that part up. So, and then another snack, I would probably have like even salad. Um, I keep, I buy those packets of salads that, you know, have different combinations of, you know, toppings and I buy the vegan ones and I love them and they are just fantastic. And it's a no brainer. Is it the cheapest thing to do? No, not unless you get a coupon or they're on sale. Um, but it tastes good and it's easy. So for dinner, um, I might do beans and greens and I would top with, um, raw onion, peppers, um, avocado and, um, tomatoes. 
and I was I don't know if this got in the first one or not but um, I always used to put cheese on beans beans and rice and and you could do rice too um, but when I because I kept trying all these different things and I, and I also love cilantro um, one of the things that and that would be my greens um, one of the things that I recognize is if I put tomatoes and avocado on I think it's the saltiness of the tomato raw and then the um, the creaminess of the avocado in my brain it somehow m mimics the satisfaction that cheese would give me so I love that that makes it it is really good and then for my nighttime snacks uh, I you know I have to be honest I'm gonna be honest here um, we do chocolate um, it's a really funky thing um, we just love chocolate and of course I would prefer a dark chocolate and and that's about it Some, and I do dates a lot and one of the things that gets me off of chocolate is eating dates and in our grocery store this is the easiest thing in the world you don't need to have our grocery store it's a local grocery store you just take your dates your medjool dates are the best ones you put them in your food processor and you 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 know uh, pulverize them till they're in a paste and then you take them out and you roll them into like a long log and then you take some chopped almonds and you roll them in the chopped almonds freeze it then cut them into bites that's how they sell them um right now I don't have time to do things like this but I do have time to go to the grocery store and pick them up and I can I love those those are so good and that takes the place of dates for me so okay so now I've given you kind of an overrun of what I or overall view not an overrun but overall view of what I really like to do and um let me see so I'm going to plan a couple of these and I'm going to use these recipes so I'm going to go to the first recipe book and oh I put these in here and I forgot to mention them okay so there's that chimichurri dip so you can do avocado chimichurri dip with your fries we have an air fryer in our breville toaster so I don't own an air fryer, but we use the Breville toaster for that. So for me in the Breville, you have to cook your potatoes first, and then you cut them, and then you throw them in there. I don't use oil. I don't put anything on them, but maybe salt. And uh, and I use sea salt. I use pink, pink Himalayan sea salt. So that's why I had that open there. Also, they have things like cookie dough almond buttercup bites. Oh, really? Yum. So, and then this was blackberry... Um, cupcakes I'm not gonna do that right now okay so barbie quinoa salad so that one we're gonna do and I will do that here and um, I will add lots more goodies to that and this is from the veg news so vegan news I'm gonna put like that so I know where to go to and it's on page 40 and this is fairly new, so I think you can still get it. Um, display until April 30th. I hope you can still get it. Look on Amazon. Amazon has everything. Um, so for my lunch, I would have leftovers. And I would leftovers of the beans and greens. See, I don't reinvent the wheel. I just keep doing it. And then for breakfast, um, I might still do oatmeal. I might do... Uh, 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 I sometimes just do like uh, like seduction bread toast so and you can get that bread at um, Whole Foods and there's a version of it at the HEB grocery store for those of you who are in Texas so and I would top with um, avocado and um, what am I trying to say um, pink Himalayan you know sea salt and then um, I would also do hemp seeds because I want the protein. And then my snacks I'll leave blank, but I know that I will probably, this has become my nighttime ritual, some kind of a date or chocolate. And I know, I know what you're saying, go with the date. I know. Okay, so I'm only going to take you through the first few of these because this may really get old for you guys. I don't know. You guys will have to leave me comments in the... Um, or email me and let me know what you guys think yes no this is terrible this is good so on Wednesday usually our gro our local grocery store has um, 
the fruit salads uh, marked down. So I usually have fruit salad of some sort. And yes, I'm lazy. And if I can buy it pre-made, it's like a salad made for you tastes so much better than a salad you make. I don't know why that is. It was I think because as a kid we were always forced to make them. And I didn't want to make salad all the way. Because the way my mom wanted them was just a way that seemed like a lot of extra work to me. So I am going to do the Chinese eggplant. So Chinese eggplant. And that is in Better Homes and Garden. And I try not to get too many of these going, these books, magazines, because then it just gets to be hassle. So it's on page 88. So, all right, so there's that one. Now for lunch, there will be leftovers. There will be leftovers, whatever that we have. There will be leftover quinoa, there will be leftover beans. So, And sometimes what I do with the beans is by the second or third day, they're really starting to get soft. I'll mash them down and make a refried bean. So um, no oil. I don't add oil to it. I just make a refried bean. So there's that. Um, I'm going to leave my snacks open, but I do always know, as per usual, date or chocolate. Okay, so now here I'm going to put my drinks list here. And I don't know if I put down green tea, but whatever else you see, I drink green tea every day. Green tea, no sugar. That's my thing. So, I know it's terrible, but I do. I do. I love it. So, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. And we know that's going to be date or chocolate. And I keep trying to check my time here. Okay, I've got a little bit more time. So, I'm going to go for it. So, we already did the Chinese eggplant. So, let's go with number number two. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm going to do this. This looks so good to me. Stir fried green beans. So I'm going to do stir fry. And again, that, that frying can be done with water. It doesn't have to be done with oil. Um, and I don't use, I don't, I don't live near an Asian market, so I can't get the long beans. So I'm going to call it green bean and, um, faux meat and I will add tons of other veggies and this is from Better Home and Garden and it is on page 91 so again I just take these recipes and I tweak them to do what I want them to do now by about this time of the week I start having salads for lunch if I can and sometimes I'll have a lunch and then I'll have a salad for my snack um, I try to eat a salad a day and by salad um, it could be all kinds of things. So for this one, I would do my, um, my Thai salad, which would be, um, a coleslaw or a wedge of, of, a uh, cabbage. And it can be purple, it can be white, it doesn't matter. Um, purple has more antioxidants in it, but I don't always do purple. Sometimes I do green cabbage or white cabbage, whatever you want to call it. And then I do my tofu, and I saute those up. And um, I buy the tofu that's sprouted and organic, and it comes in two sections. So one section in the cold section, I use half, and then I save the other half for the next day. And on the tofu, um, I just lightly saute it. I top with, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, thai chili. You know, I'm going to put Thai chili sauce, because I know what that is, TCS and uh, sesame seeds, SS, and hemp seeds. And um, what else do I do? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, of course, cilantro, um, green onions, etc. It's whatever you have and whatever floats your boat. The real trick, though, if you can eat peanuts, you got to add peanuts to this. I don't know why it takes it over the top. It's like amazing. So um, it's a very seed heavy, but it's a very high protein lunch because you're getting protein, some out of the vegetables, definitely out of the tofu, definitely. And if you buy sprouted tofu, that's even higher level of protein. And then you've got your sesame seeds, your hemp seeds, and your peanuts that will give you all that extra protein. So there's that. So for breakfast this time, I probably would um, I won't do overnight. Oats. I try to only do them about once a week because it usually lasts a couple of days unless I go to it on the weekend too. So anyways, 
But for breakfast, usually I just have, um, I hate to admit this, sometimes I just have coffee and well, water, coffee, things like that. Um, I am trying to get better at doing protein shakes again, so I'm going to go ahead and add that back in for this week. And I do a vegan one, and it's so yummy. So I'm not going to fill in my snacks. You know, I'll make a snack list, do the same thing I did with the drink list. So I'm going to take you through Friday, and then we're going to leave the weekends alone. And you guys don't have to. You can see the pattern of how I plan this. So let's see what the next the next yummy thing. I think this one was the mashed potato. Oh no, this is the ginger seed bowl. Okay, so yeah, that's a good thing. So let me do this. I'm going to add the, whoops, sesame ginger bowl. Bowl, and it's going to be with grain, seeds, and nuts. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's it. You know, there's nothing hard about this. I also love to buy, and I will tell you, I bought it's in a little jar. Any of you who get pre-made sushi like at Whole Foods, they have that um, fermented ginger slivers or slices in there. I buy that, and I keep it, so when I have certain recipes, even like on this Thai tofu, I'll put that with it too sometimes. And it's just kind of a pickled ginger, and it's so, so good. And you have to be careful at our local grocery store they will use a sugar alter you know substitute for it and it's not a healthy substitute so you really have to read the label i really love this um one i buy you can buy it at all the healthy grocery stores and it is yummy and you just it's pickled ginger you just put it in your fridge and when you get ready to eat you just pull out what you need so for lunch this day it's definitely going to be so that's dinner uh oh i missed my snack there i knew it was fast ah. okay so it's going to be a salad and um, the reason that it's going to be salad is by the end of the week, I start feeling like, oh, I've got all these salad mixes. I've got to eat them up. So that's why. And breakfast will be, um, sometimes I do like a whole grain uh, blueberry waffle. And I'll top it with more blueberries. And I also add um, nut, so blueberry nut waffle and I'll add things like um, chopped walnut, walnuts, chopped pecans. I love that, especially walnuts. They're really good in this. And then I'll top with blueberries and maple syrup. So, and it's a grade B maple syrup. It's really healthy for you. Um, full of anti, uh, I think it's, is it antibiotics or probiotics? Probably probiotics is the term I'm looking for. Anyway, it's really good for you. Okay, I lied. Let me keep going. We're doing okay on time. I am going, yep, I'm totally good. So I can plan Saturday and Sunday really quickly. So I know I'm going to do this. So probably for the weekend, I'm going to do some kind of a breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. Oh, and back here, we're back to dates. I know it's really boring. And chocolate. Just never changes. Um, okay, so right now I'm going to do um, some kind of a plant-based yogurt so probably like a coconut or a soy yogurt and I'm gonna make um, uh, I don't know what you call these overnight or parfaits whatever you do so um, fruit granola and I do a homemade granola I've done it for years and uh, seed so that's gonna be a parfait let me put that there sorry my handwriting is so bad and then um, Let's see, for lunch, oh, see, now I love things like this. So it's potatoes, and it looks like squash, and, oh, I don't know, is that olives? Oh, that looks really good. That, that looks really good. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll do a potato, and that's um, on page 11. Let me grab another sticky, throw that in there. So not only do the sticky notes help you when you're planning, they help you when you get ready to do the, the recipe, too. So it's a basil and olive potatoes. Oh my gosh, that sounds fantastic. Okay, potato, um, basil, and I have tons of basil growing because I make my own pesto. Olive, I always have lots of olives. Um, yum. So that is going to be done, and that is on the or in the Fresh Herb magazine, page 11. So yum. There's a new lunch. Okay, because on the weekends, sometimes I do more of a brunch. 
So, but if I do a sweet something like this, then I feel like later I can come in with something that's a little bit, you know, heartier and has a little bit of the flavor more um, savory, then I'm good. Um, yeah, and the only thing I have to be careful with with potatoes is they make me sleepy. They're just carb heavy, and if I eat straight potatoes with not enough protein, I get sleepy. So, just being honest. So, here is that mashed potato yummy. Yummy. <laughs> so, I'm going to put down here for supper over here, dinner, I'm going to put um, green, because it's greens, mashed potatoes. And it is going to be based off of the Fresh Herb, page 18. Okay, so that's already done. Now, let me see. I have another recipe marked in here, so let me see what I marked. Um, oh, and this is that tabbouleh. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I could do for lunch, because that would be great to make ahead for the week. I could do a uh, Mediterranean tabbouleh, and that is out of Fresh Herbs, and it is on page 20. Okay. Let me go back in here. Breakfast, snack, snack, and snack. Now, for the weekends, sometimes I do something really yummy. And probably for Sunday, this is when I would do it. I could do it for a snack or I could do it for breakfast. I love the coconut whipped cream. It's like ice cream. Not as sweet, but it is so yummy. So sometimes I'll just do like cut strawberries. Um, you can do bananas. Um, you can do blueberries. You can do pineapple if you like, and then um, topped with coconut. Um, it's like coconut cool whip. It's the only way I know how to do it. So I'm just gonna say that. CC. It is like really good. I mean, it's very decadent, and I don't know why. I just always feel like I'm cheating somehow, but I'm not. It's so good. So, um, I'll come back in here, I'll fill in my snacks. I didn't put dinner here. So, because we're eating such a heavy thing here and heavy thing here, I do leftovers. So, I do leftovers for the day. Um, and you may say, well, parfaits aren't heavy, but um, I make them really hearty. And so, um, yeah, you get what you need out of it. And, and then for my snacks on the weekends, sometimes I'll do granola, sometimes I'll do, and I'll come back and I can share snacks with y'all if you want to know some of my homemade snacks. I do a really naughty but yummy um, nut, uh, spicy, sweet, savory nut that I do at Christmas, and it does have egg whites in it, so I gotta, I gotta figure out the faux egg white thing still with it, but I'm working on that one. I've got it, I've got the tools now, just gotta get in there and do it. So, needless to say, it's not perfect. It's definitely a work in progress. I am not a skinny mini, so don't come to me and say, well, how, how little do you weigh? I don't, I, I'm up right now. But right now, my goal isn't necessarily to lose weight, it's to be healthy. So, um, in light of what we've gone through, um, that is my goal. And um, I'm slowly getting my arthritis back under control and then um, when we get back in the summer, I'm going to join the recreation center and go swim. And, you know, I'm going to be realistic. I'm going to go three times a week. I'm not going to say I'm going to go seven times a week. I'm going to go three times a week because it's 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back. It's hard to give up that amount of time. You know, but, yes, is it good for me? Yes, is it something I should be doing? Yes. And in light of all the stress, should I have been doing it all along? Yes. So it's a slow progress. I mean, don't, don't feel badly. I mean, I lost 142 pounds and I did it the worst way ever. And I almost died twice from it. And so now I'm working on, you know, focusing on health and nutrition. If I lose weight, that's fantastic. I, if I don't, I'm fine too. I just want to lose, if I can lose weight, I'd like to lose enough so that my, my knees don't hurt so badly. I will have to have double knee replacements. They're just a wreck. I'm um, damaged them when I'm young, and I don't have any cartilage left. So that obviously means it's probably going to have to have some kind of a intervention at some point. 